Today I will show you how to create this photo manipulation. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another really fun episode. Today we will have a lot of fun creating this interesting Christmas uh, holiday type of photo manipulation. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and let's the fun begin. Alright guys, today we will use a few different uh, images, as you can see, and we will start with this one, this will be our background. So, uh, first thing, as you can see, this part here of the background, it's a little bit too narrow. We need to make it wider because I really don't like uh, the amount of space here. So we need to fake that space. How to do that? First, I will use a crop tool, C on a keyboard, or just go and use crop tool. I will I use aspect ratio 16 by 9 because I like it and I will just make the canvas a little bit wider something like so right like this maybe let me see and I will press ok and now I will use this rectangular marquee tool I will just make selection around here and go to edit and content aware scale and just slowly slowly make this a little bit wider and press ok and as you can see now we have really nice space here for our story and yeah the building uh, in the back are a little bit deformed but that won't be so visible because the model and the christmas tree will cover that uh, those buildings uh, uh, in the back and we will not worry about that now that we have our background ready we need to create few masks for the background and then we can start importing the models in the scene. So let's do that. Alright guys, I will use a pen tool to create our first mask and I will create a new empty layer. And the first mask will be for this part here of the stairs. As you can see, if I zoom it, those are the stairs basically here. And I will use a pen tool. If you don't know how to use a pen tool, you have a great tutorial about pen tool right here. You can check that out. And I will really quickly create first mask here for uh, this and then I will show you what the second mask will be just really quickly and in a few moments you will see why I actually need this mask right here okay oh, it needs to go a little bit more down like so and then I will go just around and finish it here press ctrl command enter and just load this as a selection and go here by holding alt or option key i will just create a mask if i hold alt or option key and press uh, on the mask i will see the mask All right that's great and this is our first mask the second mask will be for our lamp and the background and i will do that just really quickly off the camera and we will continue with the tutorial All right guys i already did the second mask as you can see it's just the part of the lamp here and this wall basically it's I will, I will just load the selection here by pressing ctrl or command and clicking on the mask and this is basically the second mask it takes a little bit more time to make it because of those small details here and that's the reason why i didn't do it uh, here in uh, live recording because of the time sake for this tutorial, but it's exactly the same procedure as I did the first one, just use the pen tool and trace around those elements. And this is a lamp mask and this is a stairs mask, all right? And we will have those two masks just on an empty layer just to save it as a mask and you will see later we will use it uh, to help build the scene a little bit better and easier. So now let's go to our uh, next image, maybe the, this Christmas tree. And I will just copy it, all right? And I will go back and paste it here. And obviously, this Christmas tree uh, doesn't uh, match the lightness of the scene, so we need to fix that. But before that, let me show you why I created this stair mask. I, I will just press Alt or Option key, click on the mask, and just drag and drop it here. Actually, I'm copying the mask. I will unlink here the link between the mask and the layer so I can freely move the layer without moving the mask and as you can see this is the reason why I created the mask I just want to place few Christmas trees right here behind this wall 
and that's really really nice and the second mask where the lamp and the background is I will create a little bit uh, of fog uh, about the river and that's the reason why I created that mask so let's let's just start with this Christmas tree I will position uh, one right here and leave it and I will copy and use second one right here the second one doesn't need a mask so I will delete right click and delete a layer mask then I will go and find our female model as you can see I just uh, shut this uh, model in the studio and this is just helper because I will put a Christmas tree on her back so I will just copy uh, yeah you need to extract the model I already did this because I don't want to uh, spend so much time here in the tutorial you can just really quickly extract it with the quick selection tool let me show you just really quickly like so and as you can see it's not so hard just need to tweak a little bit edges later and you will have really nice extraction so I will copy her and I will place her right on the background okay and of course she's too big I will right click on this layer and convert it to smart object because when the layer is in smart object I can freely uh, transform this uh, layer make it smaller or bigger without losing the quality so I will just press ctrl command T and I will make her a little bit smaller let me see here the stairs and the size I will just I think this is okay but I'm not quite sure for now I will leave it like so and then we can tweak it make it bigger or smaller we can always go back and make her bigger without losing the quality because it's on it's converted to smart object okay so let's position her somewhere somewhere here probably I will see maybe maybe she needs to be a little bit smaller something like like this all right and now let's rename some layers to make this workspace a little bit more organized so first I will go and rename this one to girl right and this will be a Christmas tree right and this will be a Christmas tree but I will rename it CT because it's Christmas tree but it's this one on the left and I will know because it's different than this one so this is stairs background BG for background and those stair mask and lamp mask I will move it all the way down and I will just put a group on those two masks and rename these two masks that's really nice now the next step is to go and position the Christmas tree on girl's back but before that I want to match the lightness of the Christmas tree to the background so we need to make the Christmas tree a little bit darker to do that we have a tons of options here in Photoshop but I will use just the two I will use curves and exposure so let's add exposure adjustment layer clip it to affect only the Christmas tree layer and I will just lower the exposure a little bit and we can play it with the offset just a touch but let me see like so and I will use curves adjustment layer and I will just or again clip it and just make it a little bit darker maybe I will lower the highlights here and just do something like this let me see let's zoom it a little bit the quality of this Christmas tree is not so good but for the purpose of this tutorial and for putting image maybe on Facebook it's perfect so let's let's see let's make it a little bit darker maybe like so it's good yeah it's really really nice we can always tweak it later if we see that there is some something that doesn't match really nice but it's really good for now and then I will go to Christmas tree uh, layer press ctrl command T and just rotate it and position it here on the girl's back it will be maybe like maybe I can make this a little bit bigger just to have impression that the Christmas tree is bigger and heavier something like this and I can press I can press OK when I'm ready and now it's really really nice it's already more funnier scene so because we have a main light source right here this lamp we need to make this part of the Christmas tree a little bit brighter so to do that I will go to both of these exposure and curves adjustment layers and I will paint with the black brush to hide 
this effect and automatically I will make this part brighter. So I will use brush, uh, brush uh, tool, so black color, really soft brush and with 20% opacity or so I will just start painting this part a little bit brighter like so and go to exposure and make this part even brighter and this is really really nice so maybe because you can see the light will come from this direction too i will make this part a little bit brighter maybe just with 10 percent opacity like so and that's really really nice for now the next step will be to bend the tree a little bit to even better position it on her back and to add some shadows and masking to make impression that the christmas tree it's really fitting on a girl's back so let's do it all right how to bend the christmas tree a little bit well it's really easy by using a puppet work tool if you're not familiar with the puppet work tool you can find a tutorial about it right here so i will go to a christmas tree layer go to edit puppet warp and i will just place some pins here and expand this a little bit and start to bend this tree i'm holding alt or option key and i'm rotating those pins a little bit so again guys if you're not familiar with this tool please watch my tutorial about it and you will have better uh, better understanding of this so i will just move some parts of the tree a little bit up like so and maybe like like this and let me see this is already better let's press ok and before and after before and after i really like it now it's a little bit more realistic the tree it's a little bit bending uh on her back and that's really really nice okay the next step is to add some mask first i want to go to girls layer add a new layer mask use a black color i will use a brush 100 opacity and something around 70 percent or so and i will just make mask out her coat here because the tree will go over it here right that's nice maybe maybe like so and then I will fake it, make some branches appear on the coat directly, like so. You can fake this a little bit. And I will just go with um, moving forward and backwards uh, with uh, black and white color to paint or hide some details. So I will fake this part too. You will see when we later add a shadow to it, it will look really, really nice. And here, maybe, maybe this. Let's make around it. All right, that's really nice. And maybe I don't like this. Make it wider. Maybe it's better. Like so. And let me see here. Maybe, maybe this part. A little bit and hat here mm, maybe just one small branch right here on the hat and maybe I will just go like this and that's that's basically it as you can see we have some branches uh, over her her coat here and the next step is to add a shadow to glue this uh, Christmas tree on her back and it will look even better. So to add a shadow, I will create a new layer. I will clip it to the girl layer. I will rename it shadow. Okay. And I will use this color. I will use a sample tool. When I'm in brush tool, I will just press control, oh sorry, alt or option key, and I will just sample this color. And I will put this shadow layer into multiple blending mode, and then I can paint some shadow as you can see you can paint paint reddish tint shadow on her coat here and that's really really nice i don't want to paint on on the rope i will raise it and i will just paint a little bit here it's too much like so and i'll leave it for later here a little bit that's great and now we need to paint those small shadows from 
those branches, right? Something like so. And it will help to sell the effect that those branches are on her code. So let's go here a little bit. And this is really, really nice. Maybe, yeah, I really like it how this, how this looks. You can always invest uh, even more time to tweak those shadows to make it uh, look more perfect and so on and so on. But for now, this is really nice. So I will create another shadow uh, layer. If you're not familiar with the shadows in Photoshop, you can again watch my tutorial about the shadows. You can find it right here and you will have better understanding of the shadows. So basically guys, uh, if you are following this channel from the start, you know all these techniques and this is a great example where you can apply all those techniques that we learned before in one really nice photo manipulation. So I'll create a new shadow. This will be shadow number two, all right? And basically this will be more like ambient shadow. I will use brush, a really soft one like so. And I will use maybe 20% opacity and put this again into multiple blending mode. So to make really nice and soft shadow right here, like this. And see, it has a reddish tint, but I will remove the shadow from the rope because I don't want this shadow on the rope. And I will just erase or press E on a keyboard and I will just erase the shadow from the rope. I will create a new shadow on the rope later when I start to dodge and burn this photo, all right? And let me see, before and after, and before both shadows and after. It's really, really much better, guys, and I really like it. Of course, if I'm doing this for a client, not for a tutorial, I will spend even more time tweaking those shadows, make them to look even better. But for the time sake of this tutorial, this is the procedure. I just want to show you the methods, and then you can go and tweak them as much as you want. All right, and this is the basic stuff. So the next step will be, let me see, to maybe blend this rope a little bit better with the Christmas tree. So I will go again to the girl layer. I will use a harder brush like so, and I will go on a mask, black brush, 100% opacity, and just, just delete rope here to make impression that it's going, oh, it's not. Soft brush, I need harder, that it's going in the Christmas tree, all right? And this is much better now. And yeah, this is much better. We need to, we need uh, to make some shadows on the rope, so it will be even better later, but we will do it definitely later. So we are basically finished with this girl at the moment. Right, the next step will be to tweak a little bit that Christmas tree to add some lights on it and then to go to the second Christmas tree and make her uh, fit better, to blend better with the scene. So let's do it. Right, guys, let's add some lights that are already uh, existing here on, on this Christmas tree, but I want to uh, make it even better. I will create a new layer right below the Christmas tree here. Or actually, I will create it about those about the girl and everything, yeah. I will create and rename it Lights from a Christmas tree. And I will sample this orange color. And remember, I'm holding Ultra Option key while I'm in a brush tool. And let me see, I will sample maybe, maybe this color, why not? And I will put the blending mode for this layer into Linear Dodge, all right? And with 100% opacity, I will just I need to use soft brush. I will just paint like this. And you will need to go to every of those lights and just paint it to have impression that the lights are on. All right, and maybe if you find some better Christmas tree, better quality Christmas tree, you can use that instead of this one. But for this tutorial, I found uh, this one online. All right, and I will just fast forward this and we will see and I will be back in a few seconds.
And we are back. I hope that I made all those lights. I turned all those lights on. And now we will add the same from the same layer, some maybe with 40% opacity, some lights on the coat here on the hat, because you'll definitely see some of those uh, brightness on, on her. So that's nice. I added here, here, and here. And for now, I really like it. All right. The great thing with these lights, you can add maybe hue and saturation adjustment layer, clip it to it, and you can change the color of the lights if you want. I will make it a little bit more orangey and more saturated, like so. And of course, you can change the brightness of the light. So you can create animation, really nice animation where the lights are going on and off. And that's something that will be really funny at the end. So I will. Just leave it at 100% and that's great. Okay, now let's go to the second Christmas tree. Let's first save this. Let's go to the second Christmas tree and let's find it. It's here, city. And I need to tweak this Christmas tree, right? To, to make again the same adjustments that I did with the first one with exposure and curves. First, I will use curves, clip it and just make Christmas tree a little bit darker like so, maybe I will not use exposure at all. That's really nice. But yeah, I will use exposure to make it even darker, something like so. And then I will use a black brush and I will use soft brush like so, 40% opacity is too much, maybe 20% and just, just paint here and go to the curves and just paint here because this part will be brighter because light is coming from this direction and it will illuminate this part of the tree. And maybe like, maybe like so. Okay, what I like to do now is to copy this Christmas tree. I will just copy it and I will move a copy right here. I can copy actually all the effects. I can, uh, sorry, I can select the Christmas tree and holding shift, uh, select the first exposure here and I, I have basically all three layers selected and then I can press Control command J. I will press twice because I want to copy the effect twice and I can make second Christmas tree, move it, press Control command T, make it smaller like so, then I can change maybe the shape a little bit like so, press OK. And then let's go to the second one. It's uh, this one right here, move second one here. And again, I can make it even higher or something like so or bigger or anything that I like. And that's great. I can even go to, to maybe this one and again, go to edit, puppet warp and just bend it a little bit. Let's expand this selection. Just bend it a little bit just to have different, different effect, maybe move it like like so, and press OK, and just have a different variation in this Christmas tree. I can do the same for uh, the top one, and this, this is the top one. Go to Edit, Puppet Warp, and just, just bend, bend the top here, like this, just a little bit. All right, guys, and now we have really nice three Christmas trees behind this wall here. I will select everything here, okay, like so, group it, in the CT group, Christmas tree, and I will move it maybe, I will move it like, like so, that's, that's really nice. All right, and what I like to do is to add a hue saturation adjustment layer and clip it to the group and saturate those Christmas tree a little bit. And I will do the same for this Christmas tree. I will go add hue and saturation adjustment layer and saturate it a little bit more and that's really, really nice. So then let's, let's see, let's move this at the top. Yeah, it doesn't make a big change. So the next step is to add another character in the scene. Let's bring the salesman here. And again, guys, I use a quick selection tool, just quickly select him out of the background. Actually, this is me and counting some money. I'm so happy that I'm selling those Christmas tree and it's going really nice. And as you can see, I already have uh, selection and I will just move Actually, I will just copy it and paste it right here. I'm too big. First, I will right click and convert this to smart object in case I need to change the size again. 
I will make myself smaller. Position it somewhere here. I'm still too big. Maybe like so. And then I will go to my mask group and I will use this stairs. Mask, press Ultra Option key and just drag it here. And unlink this chain, uh, this link between the layer and the mask to freely move, move the model to move myself right here. And that's something that I really, really like. So let's collapse this. And let me see. The size, it's not bad, actually. I like, let's compare the head. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger. So let's, let's do it like, like this. I think now it's much better. And at the end, I will see if I will make myself a little bit smaller or not. But for now, I really like how this is looking. Right, the next step will be to add some shadows on the models and to add some snow in the scene. So let's do that. Right, guys, first what I like to do is to clean up some workspace here. Let's rename this Salesman. All right, and move this all the way to the top. Or if you watch my tutorial about keyboard shortcuts, Shift Control or Shift Command, right bracket, it will move the layer all the way to the top. And now let's group some things. First, I will use all the layers that uh, that are affecting the girl here and group it in one group. Let's name this girl. That's great. And let's open this and I will add a new layer below the girl layer. To add a new layer below some layer, just press Control Command key and click on the new layer icon and that's it. I will name this shadow. Uh, shadow. Okay. And I will go right here. And before I start creating a shadow here, I want to uh, straighten this uh, this part of the foot here. So to do that, I will go to girl layer, okay? And I will go to filter, liquify. And now you will see a second. I will zoom this part and I will just move this a little bit down and this a little bit up just to straighten a little bit more like so. And that's that's whole procedure before and after before and after okay and now we will paint some shadows here and for that i will use i will use black color actually i will use black color i will use brush a little bit harder like so that's great and 100 percent opacity let me see and i will just make first thing that i want to make it's contact shadow so before that to have a better impression how the shadow will look I will go all the way down below and I will brighten this background layer by using curves adjustment layer, just temporary. I will bright this, just temporary. I have some, some imperfections here, but it doesn't matter actually. We will maybe use that as a shadow. I will see. Let's go here and let's first create a contact shadow. So let's create something like this and this will be a contact shadow from this part and this is on this part right here then I will create a mask I will use a brush really soft brush maybe 20% opacity and just paint out this because this would be something like so right and let me see that's really nice that's a contact shadow and I really like it. So the second type of shadow will be the main shadow from the from this light source, the main shadow on the girl. And this will be shadow number two. You can be more creative in naming layers. I will use again black brush. I will use harder brush like so, 100% opacity here and 100. And I will just draw a shadow. Again, I explained all this in my uh, how to create realistic shadows tutorial in Photoshop and check that out if you're not familiar with that. So I will just start painting a shadow. I will fake it. This is one leg and it's going something like this and it's going up and there is the coat and this is the second leg and then here everything will go all the way out of the frame okay and this will go like this and let me see maybe something something the arm will be maybe here and so on and so on and of course i need a bigger 
bigger legs like this probably and that's something that I really really like so let's tweak here this part and now I want to make this a little bit more opaque like so and what I like to do uh, I like to blur here with the blur tool I always like to blur those edges that are far away from from a model because that's how the shadows works and I will not invest a lot of time blurring this because um, I don't want to spend so much time tweaking this but just to know that when I'm doing this really really nicely and when I have time to do it I will really make this shadow uh, much better but I'm really satisfied with that and that's the shadow from the girl and I like to create another shadow let's maybe make even more big like so and another shadow it will be ambient shadow and shadow from the Christmas tree I will creatively name this shadow number three and I will use soft brush Again, famous 20% opacity. I'll just paint here the shadow from a tree and something like, like this. And of course, I will lower the opacity of that and lower the opacity of this. And let's go all the way down and delete this cursed adjustment layer that I used just to help me see those shadows a little bit better. And now it's even better. I really like let me show you before and after maybe it's too dark to see but we will add some snow and we will have better um, uh, we will see the shadow a little bit better so let's go to the salesman here create a new layer down below let's rename shadow and the shadow here will be really really simple just harder brush and just paint something like like this uh, yeah, I need to put put the same mask here. Oops, same mask here, and then I will use 100% opacity brush. Just add something like something like this, and add something like this, and that's that's the whole shadow from this guy right here. Maybe to lower the opacity a little bit, and that's it. This is really really simple shadow from this light source. Maybe like like so. It's not so bad. And that's that's basically it. It's really, really simple shadow. I can go here and I can use black brush and I can just soften it a little bit, 20% opacity, and just paint it like, like this. And that's really, really nice. All right, the next step is to add some snow on the floor on this part of the wall here lamp and so on and so on and to do that uh, i will i will uh, apply the technique that i showed in uh, one of the previous episodes that it's called the blend if so i will create i will create a new adjustment layer but all the way down just above the background layer and i will i will group that everything together later and rename it snow so i will not rename it right now i will create a new layer and i will use white brush and I will use maybe yeah 100% opacity but maybe something like 25 or so percent hardness and I will just paint let me see I will just paint snow right here like this and then I'll paint snow right here and right here at the top and let me see it's not bad and now I will go and double click on this layer to go to this uh, layer styles option and go to blend if you're, if you're not familiar with the blend if please watch my tutorial about blend if right here you have the link and you will really really understand it how it works after that so I will quickly just use the technique right here I will not explain how it uh, it works but you have a tutorial about that so I will protect some I will protect some shadows on the layer down below to create some like snow frozen effect and again I can paint paint again right here if I like it that's really really nice maybe like so and I can even paint right here 
I will use all the way 0% hardness and just paint it here to have this really, really nice effect of some snow or some frost actually. It's, it's really, really nice. So I will use another layer and I will paint with that layer on the floor right here, okay? I will paint the floor. Oops, wrong button. I will paint the floor like so. And again, I will double click it and I will protect some shadows here on the layer down below. Let's zoom it. Let's see, something like this. It's really, really nice. And that's great. Now I will add a layer mask here and I will just quickly with maybe again 20% opacity, today tutorials all about 20% opacity. I will just remove maybe here it will be less frost because or snow because the people are uh, walking this way. But something like this, it's good, right? I know that I'm not visible in the screen right now. That's because my camera turns off. But I will come back really quickly just to finish this. And you can see this is really, really nice effect. And I'm back. So let's create another layer, right? And let's add some snow right here. 100% opacity and just, just add some snow right here. I really like this effect. Actually, this is more like a frost, not like a snow, but I'm saying snow all the time, right? And let me see, this is really nice. So I can add it here, maybe here, some parts, why not? And of course, guys, you can play with this as much as you want. Just have fun using it. And this tutorial is already too long, but I really like this. Okay, let's double click. And now let's do the same thing. Something like this, right? And now I will create a mask again and I will mask out some parts that I don't want to be visible here. 20% opacity and let me see. This is nice. Actually, this is nice. I will just use a white brush and paint even more frost right here. And you will see, I will now use a second mask that I made. Yeah, I will paint here too. I will use a second mask that I made for this wall and this lamp to remove this effect from, uh, from a background. All right, and that's great. Now I will go here where masks are and I will just place this lamp mask right here. Say, okay, I want to replace it and I need to invert it. Press Control Command I to invert it. And that's great. Now I don't have this effect at the, uh, on the background. Maybe a little bit here because I didn't make perfect mask, but otherwise, otherwise it's great. And that's really nice. So let's group everything together now. All those three layers and let's, let's rename it Frost. Right, and before and after, before and after, it's really, really nice. Maybe I want to, to make this a little bit less visible. I will just lower the opacity, something like this. And for now, this is really great, guys. We have a shadow even better visible right now. We can uh, change that. We can go to the girl and the shadow and we can go, let me see, this is, the contact shadow, this is a shadow from girl we can make less visible and maybe like this. And that's something that I really like for now. All right, now let's add some lights effect from the lamp here. Let's go all the way up. Let's clean some workspace again. This will be salesman. Salesman. And this is a girl. Those are lights on the Christmas tree, so I will put it right here. Sorry, I need both of those layers. I will put it right here and I will group this as a Christmas tree. 
Okay, and let me see everything here. It's now more organized. And now this is even better looking. So I will now create a fog. Fog will be just about the background. Let's name this fog. And then I will go and deal with the lights. I know that I said that I will add some light effect, but first let's create some fog. I will just use white color and just add maybe lower the opacity to 10% and just add some fog right here. And I will use this mask from the lamp and put it here. So that's really nice. And I will lower the opacity of that fog. And maybe add some fog right here. And now we have really nice soft fog over the lake or the river here. And that's, that's really, really great. So let's now go all the way up. Okay, create a new layer and let's name this uh, sorry, I will name it lamp light and I will put this into a linear dodge again. I will sample this orange color like so and maybe with 10% opacity or even 5% opacity. I will just paint some, some lights here from this lamp. Okay. That's really really nice I love this okay and maybe I can go and use the hue and saturation adjustment layer clip it to this one make this darker and more saturated and even more orangey like like so maybe something like this you can always tweak that let me see this is not bad at all and let's unzoom it yeah this is nice another light effect maybe i will lower the opacity of this but another light effect i want to add from this side here again to a linear dodge i will use the same color make this smaller and with a big brush i'll just add effect that the light is coming from this direction too and if i zoom it you can see before and after it's really nice i can even press ctrl command t and make this wider and move it here and even lower the opacity and maybe you can say yeah it's too opaque i can even uh, i can hardly notice this but if you see before and after it's enough it's enough to sell the fact that it's coming there is lights coming from this direction here and of course you can tweak this scene as much as you want you can add a lot of other uh, objects here in the scene make your own story play with that uh, you the the point here is to know uh, the tools how to do it and the methods how to blend everything together and that's it all right and now i will use a global dodge no not global sorry i will use local dodge and burning i will dodge and burn girl and this salesman so let's go to the girl right here in the group and create a new curves adjustment player one it's for dodge something like this and the second will be for burn right like this i will clip both of them to affect the girl only and i will rename this d for dodge b for burn and i will just dodge it really quickly i will use black and white brush really soft one like so and five percent opacity and i will go here and just quickly quickly dodge her a little bit here then burn this part maybe even more okay maybe 10% opacity and now I want to make this rope here a little bit darker like so and that's nice All right and let me see let's go to this lamp effect see if too much yeah it's too much here on the tree so I will create uh, mask and I will just erase it from from the tree right here and I will raise it from this guy right here okay and that's nice so let's go back to dodge and burning I am jumping a little bit over the scene but huh, I hope you get it okay that's nice 
and I will just burn this part of the hair to better blend with the background like so the edges that's much better right now and let me see this is nice let's go to the salesman here in the group create again two layers this will be for dodge invert the mask duplicate it and this will be for burn dodge and burn yeah but i need to press b what's happening b okay and now let's go here five percent opacity and dodge it make this part a little bit brighter like so maybe money a little bit brighter and this part of the coat and the hand this is really quickly guys just for time's sake of this tutorial otherwise i will be more precise and yeah i need to clip this effect only this guy and now i will burn some parts maybe inside parts and this part here like so and let me show you really quickly before and after this is really quickly draw before and after but i just want to blend it even better with the scene all right and basically basically that's it for this tutorial i will not add anything else you can add a snow if you want to know how to add a snow uh, that is falling uh, in in this scene you can watch my tutorial how to add snow in photoshop you can find the link right here and I will now group everything together and I will do a final color correction on this and I will finish this tutorial. Right, but before that I just want to do one thing that I really like and I want to show you guys. I will just merge everything together with Shift Control Alt E or Shift Command Option E on a Mac just to have everything as one layer. And I will go and use Luminar 2018 to add one really nice effect that I like on this image. And I have it as a filter here in Photoshop. All right. All right. I have the Luminar right here and make it bigger. And I will just go add one filter. And that's the sun rays filter. I will add it as a rays from the lamp here. If you're not familiar with this piece of software, I have a really short review about it. You can find again a link right here. And I really recommend this piece of software. It's so fun and so easy to use and you have a tons of effect. So I will just really quickly do this. I actually explained this sun rays filter in this review a little bit more in depth. So I will just quickly do this and I will fast forward this and you will see in a second. All right, something like that. And now I will apply it on this image and it will create a effect on the same layer that I uh, make as a merge layer. As you can see, it's really nice effect of those uh, rays from the lights on the lamp. I really like this small touch, small detail. Of course, I can create a mask and maybe mask out some parts that I don't like. Here, maybe this ray is too much. Let me see here, but otherwise everything else, it's really, really nice. Okay, now let's merge everything again together with Shift Control Alt or Shift Command Option E on a Mac. And I will go and use filter and camera roll filter like so. And I will tweak some, some things here. I will brighten the shadows a little bit and lower the blacks, add some clarity. And I will go, let me see make this a little bit cooler cooler like so and i will go and sharpen this just a little bit in this moment like so maybe it's too cool like this and i will press ok this is first step maybe to add just a little bit of saturation and press ok right that's nice then i will again duplicate this layer by pressing ctrl command j and go again to the same filter camera row and look this Really nice trick. I will lower the dehaze like this, all right? And I will make even cooler look because I want to have that frosty uh, look just on some parts of the image. And maybe I can go on the highlights and add a little bit of blue tint and press OK. And now I will put a mask on it like so. And I will just, with the white brush, I will reveal only the corners here and maybe this part 
like this just a little bit and now with the 10 percent opacity add the rest to to this like so okay and i really like how this is looking here and again before and after before and after i will again merge everything together shift control alt e or shift command option e on a mac again go to the filter camera row filter and now i will use this split toning effect like so and make some highlights a little bit more warm or even i can even do something different i can make some shadows more reddish and highlights more more cooler like so that's even nice if you if you want depend you can create any kind of look that you that you want or i don't know maybe maybe like so you can play with these guys as as ever you want maybe add some vignetting around it like so now i can sharp it even more or you can sharp it on a different layer and add some contrast on that and let me see if i go and cool down this a little bit like so and boost some clarity let me see before and after yeah this is really really nice and this is how it looks for now all right guys and that's basically it you can add the snow on the top of this image as i did it here you can uh, color correct it a little bit different to add a different mood on the image you can use maybe nick color fx pro to color correct it or luminar to uh, color correct it and so on and so on so now it's up to you to practice experiment have fun maybe add some other elements to this image and personalize it to make it your own all right you have all the necessary files to create uh, this project and just practice experiment and have fun if you have any questions regarding to this episode please leave them in the comments below i will be glad to answer it if you want to support me and this channel to create even more uh, tutorials for you guys you can uh, check my patreon page for that and you can find the link down there in the description so see you next week in the next fun episode bye bye